Hi everyone, Miss Ashley here. Today we are working on a tassel garland to decorate your space. Now inside your kit, you're going to find a whole bunch of tissue paper. Um, and actually, if you've got tissue paper and string at home, you can make this with any, any of those supplies as well. So you don't actually have to have a kit from the library to make today's craft. Um, but if you're using our supplies, you will find that you have um, about four feet of twine and you'll have some tissue paper. And then from your supplies at home, you're also going to need to grab a pair of scissors. Now, when I um, tested this out, I found that the small, sharp kind work the best. I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> um, and you're also going to want to have your favorite kind of glue. Now, I am using our hot glue guns today. I like that they dry quickly. Um, that said, you could probably use just about any kind of glue as long as you're willing to wait for it to dry. Okay, so while that's heating up, we'll go ahead and get started. Now, if you've got um, the white tissue paper from your kit, you're going to want to cut that in half, okay? Um, this is the size that I'm going to be working with, so if you want to go ahead and fold everything in half and get it down to this size, pause your video, get cutting, okay? When you're ready to roll, you've got one piece that's about this size, we'll get started. So first thing you're going to do, fold it in half lengthwise. You want to be as close as you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, creasing is fine. You're not going to see it in the end. Okay, so you want something like this. Okay, next step is to fold in half again, which you want to fold in half so that you're folding this way. Okay, <laughs> you can see, if I do it this way maybe, I'm a little crooked on my cutting. I think I'm gonna go ahead and straighten that out. <laughs> Whoops, doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but that's a little bad, I'm not gonna lie. We'll trim that up real quick. <laughs> Oh, that's much better. <laughs> Set those scraps aside. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> All right, so to get to cutting the tassels, you want to start by making sure that you're cutting, um, you're, going, <laughs> you're gonna cut up <laughs> this way, and you wanna make sure that you're cutting on the side that is open. You want the folded edge to be on the top okay so when you're cutting they don't have to be exactly the same width as close as you can get of course is always nice but you want to stop when you're about an inch or so there we go so I stopped about here from the top of that fold okay so you're gonna go all the way across and as I was going on my test runs, I found that I accidentally, more than once, <laughs> chopped off a tassel or two <laughs> or three. And then by the end though, you really couldn't tell. So something to keep in mind, if you accidentally trim a piece off, it's no big deal. Can see how white probably wasn't the best choice of all the natural sunlight we've got going on but oh that's that's better okay they're roughly the equal distance and equal size here cuts don't have to be perfectly straight but you do want them to stop at about the same distance from the fold that one's probably the most important. I feel like this is the longest step. <laughs>
seams there. Probably about mm, two more cuts or so. Oh, maybe one. <laughs> So once you hit this part, you're going to open it up. Oh, okay. I'm gonna lay that flat on the table. Got a little twisted there, that's okay. Find roughly the middle, and you're going to cut, uh, there we go, all the way through so that you have two pieces. Okay, set one aside gonna work on one at a time here and open that up completely lay it down so that your cut pieces are out to the sides okay oh that one cooperated beautifully I don't always okay you're going to take the middle where it's not cut um, and you're going to roll it up okay all the way to the top you don't want it so tight that your cut pieces on the edges start misbehaving. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> Didn't work so well. You'll find a happy medium as you go. Your first one might be a test run like mine was. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it ended up in the trash. <laughs> Beauty of tissue paper. You can unfold it. There we go. Getting all twisted here. Yep, roll all the way to the top. As you can see, the further you go, the little bit more complicated it gets to roll everything out so it's not quite so twisted. Okay. And you're going to grab in the middle and you're going to twist that section that was not cut. The section that you rolled, you're going to twist it. Okay. Got that far? And you are going to wrap that. That's going to form the loop. Almost there with your first one, at least. Okay. Uh oh, might have wrapped a little too tight. <laughs> it's starting to tear. Always happens. Okay. Now this is where your glue comes in. Right? So grab that hot glue or whatever you're deciding to use. <laughs> By the way, if you forgot to plug it in, now is a good time to do that. <laughs> wait for it to warm up. So you're gonna put a little, whoops, a little tiny dot of glue up toward the top where you want them to cross. So I'm gonna put some here. Uh oh, oh it got me. It doesn't have quite enough melted down. Grab another stick. It's always happened to me. Oh, now we know what it is. Every time. I'm gonna reset the time. <laughs> well, that heats. Yep, should have checked the light. It was plugged in this time, I swear. But the light on the tower was on. <laughs> Give that a couple minutes, I suppose. Every single time. You'd think I'd learn. While that's heating, I guess I'm gonna work on my other one. So if like me, you need to wait for your hot glue, might as well open, ah, see, this is what usually happens. Doesn't wanna lay flat. Open up your other one. And we'll get rolling and twisting this one too. You're gonna roll up the center of that second one. Aha, this one, this one's doing what I expected it to do. Not cooperate. <laughs> I 
By the way, you can find craft ideas online in some of the strangest places it might seem. Been married for quite a while now. Found this one on a wedding website of all places. So, <laughs> something to keep in mind when you're looking for ideas online. Next thing you're gonna do, of course, is twist this up. Okay. And you're gonna make your loop. There we go. Okay, well, I'm not sure. Let's see if my hot glue is hot enough. kind of sort of bend it and twist it mold it to the shape that you want it to be slightly anyway okay Whoop. pulled a little too hard pulled it apart i'm gonna give it a little more glue there it goes okay your first tassel all right <laughs> and the one I set aside let's glue that one too why not Snug here. Okay. Woo! Lots of hot glue. All right. Now shake it around. Get your pieces kind of sort of where you want them to go. We've got hot glue all over. <laughs> okay. So. You need to make as many as you want of your tassels. Um, repeat the whole process with each piece of tissue paper that you use. Now, if you're using the brown tissue paper that I provided, you don't have to do that whole cutting it in half um, in the very, very beginning. It should be roughly that, that size that you need. Um, so make as many tassels as you'd like, and then you need to string them along your twine, okay? So let me see here. I've got a whole bunch that I've already made. Ta -da! And you could, once you, you know, get going with these, if you wanted to make more, you can make some longer ones, um, whatever size you want. Let's see, I've got, yep, my brown ones are in the middle. Okay, so we'll slide these on here. stuck on that hot glue there we go so you of course once you get them hung up you can space them out spread them out wherever you'd like them to be but now you've got your tassel garland okay so send me some pictures show me what yours turns out to be can't wait to see and you if you pop into the library and happen to make an appointment um, for the reference floor you'll see mine hanging at the reference desk so hopefully I will see you and talk to you soon Hi everyone!